This is how China combats desertification. Hi everyone, how is it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before anything else, be sure to subscribe and tick the bell button so that you will not miss any of our upcoming videos. NationalGeographic.com states that as global temperatures rise and the human population expands, more of the planet is vulnerable to desertification, which is the permanent degradation of land that was once arable. And because of this, China is taking important actions to combat desertification. So in this video, you will see 10 examples of how China combats desertification. And so, without further ado, here we go! Number 1 is the 30-year desert control experience in Kubuchi Desert. The 30-year desert control experience of North China's Kubuchi Desert provided a successful model for the global combat against desertification. The serious desertification of the Kubuchi Desert once posed great challenges to the survival of local people. To save the environment and provide enough fodder for their livestock, they began to plant trees in the desert. Local companies were also eager to improve the environment and promote local economy. Number 2 is China's Kabuchi model offers solution to desertification. China's success in reforesting the once barren Kubuchi Desert has seen the region gradually prosper in the development of a green economy, while the country seeks to share and promote the model worldwide. The 7th Kubuchi International Desert Forum kicked off in the Kubuchi Desert in northern China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region attracting delegates and experts from home and abroad to discuss desertification. Number 3 is Delta Sod Farmer Brings Drought-Resistant Turf Zuckerman's Delta Bluegrass Company has researched a variety of native California grasses and experimenting with a blend of seeds to create new sod. Zuckerman said the company has come up with several lawn options that can remain emerald green year-round and require a lot less water. Number 4 is Greening China's 7th Largest Desert The Kubuchi Desert in Inner Mongolia is the 7th largest desert in China. Anti-desertification programs have proved that it is quite possible to not only halt the spread of a desert region but to completely transform an inhospitable environment. By increasing the productivity of the desert, everything has changed for the benefit of the people who live there, for the wildlife which is now returning and for the environment. Number 5 is 
Father and son engage in the fight against desertification in China. Chinese old man and his son have fought against desertification for almost 20 years in northwest China. No matter what kind of harsh condition they continuously face every day, life still goes on for them. They never give up on their fight against desertification. Watch. Number 6 is Straw Checkboard Stops Desert Encroachment Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region in northwestern China has been in a battle against the desert since the 1950s. World Bank supported project is helping revegetation, improving diversity, and boosting incomes in their region. Watch this. Number 7 is Laying Straw Fights Desertification in Xinjiang Each day, hectares of moving sand dunes are tightly grasped by straw checkboard sand barriers in the Tanger Desert in the Shaputu district of Jiangwei City, northwest China's Ningxia Wei Autonomous Region. The women who work here lay the barriers equally over the sand while men uses shovels to dig holes into the ground and fill them with straw. Each straw pile stands 10 centimeters below ground and 30 centimeters above the ground. Number 8 is More Young People Join the Fight Against Desertification China's efforts to combat desertification continue to attract young researchers. In North China's Kubuchi Desert, Many fresh graduates have chosen to work for a company that's been greening the desert for decades. Watch at how this company created a miracle in the desert, one kept alive by the youth of the nation. Number 9 is China's Ningxia made remarkable achievement in controlling the desert. Jiangwei City in the northwest China's Ningxia Wei Autonomous Region has made tremendous achievements in desertification control since the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party of China held five years ago. Number 6 is 
Number 10 is Foreigners Learn Desertification Control in China. Watch how the U.S. teachers and students came all the way to China's Minchin, a man-made oasis to learn how to combat desertification. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. video.